Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. However you may be joining us, we are glad you are here. Also glad to be welcomed back into the program, uh, Captain Brennan Mathern, the Foose Power Sheriff's Office. Brennan, welcome back to the program. Great to be here. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it very much. You know, we've uh, endured so many challenging things here over the last couple of years, in fact, it's nice to get some normalcy back for the kids. Let's talk a little bit about not only the importance of Halloween, but the importance of staying safe. Well, exactly. I mean, last year, of course, we were at, at dealing with the COVID uh, pandemic for quite some time, and it went into Halloween. Halloween was really kind of one of the first normal things as, as parents sort of said, you know what, we're just going to risk it. Uh, we're going to calculate the risk and, and go out there. Uh, but for many parents, they decided to not participate or, or to participate in alternative uh, Halloween um, you know, celebrations other than trick or treating. This year, of course, uh, we're coming off of the Delta wave of, of the COVID pandemic. And uh, as you know, we recently, uh, the governor recently dropped the mask mandate. So now uh, we, we have a little bit of normalcy that we have the ability for our kids to uh, take part in. Of course, but what we've been dealing with the last two months has been the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. And, you know, I, I think this is, as you mentioned, this is a welcome break, and not only for, for the kids, but, but for adults as well. Uh, we can just focus on a night of, of, of enjoying the evening, uh, having kids go out and having a little bit of normalcy as we return uh, to what a normal Halloween should look like, uh, like it did back in 2019. Uh, where the sheriff's office will be out uh, like we do every year from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Uh, patrolling the streets for our blue light special patrol. Uh, we just have our overhead lights on just to remind everyone out there uh, to be safe around kids uh, and, and to understand there's many more pedestrians on the street. And, you know, for our kids, uh, many of whom are not even in the same school they started the year in, uh, especially in the South Lafouche area uh, and, and some in the central you know, this is an opportunity to, to have a little bit of normalcy back in their lives. Well, we're always so thankful that you guys really uh, think about this, plan ahead. You've got some safety tips for us to be aware of for everyone out there to just make sure that they're following the best way to keep themselves and their kids safe this Halloween. Well, you know, these the safety tips are, are very common every year, uh, and, and we try to look at them every year and reevaluate what's the most important. And this year, uh, one of the unspoken safety tips, so to speak, is obviously the debris from Hurricane Ida. And, uh, you know, the, the weather event that we had on Wednesday certainly uh, bolsters that. Uh, we, we've seen after Wednesday's weather event, we've seen blue tarps and maybe some debris and roofing nails uh, scattered uh, on, on grounds, on, on driveways. So that's important for you to think about as you prepare uh, your, your home and, and prepare and look around your neighborhood uh, for where your kids are gonna be going. Uh, obviously, we remind kids to walk uh, and, and not run on sidewalks or near the edge of the roadway, as many of our neighborhoods do not have uh, sidewalks. But again, uh, near the edge of the roadway is also gonna be that storm debris. So you have to be uh, cognizant as a parent, as a guardian, who's uh, anyone who's watching over these kids, uh, that they're being careful around that debris. Uh, and, and look, that includes to be aware of your surroundings. Stay off your cell phone uh, unless you're making a call. Like this is one of those times uh, where we would definitely encourage parents to give their full attention uh, to the kids that they are supervising, because uh, especially for this Halloween, uh, but, but certainly for all Halloweens, you want to be aware of, of what your kids are doing, where they're going, make sure they're not darting out in front of the street, but especially uh, this Halloween with the storm debris uh, still lining roadways, you want to make sure they're not uh, in any danger. Uh, so stay off your phone unless you're making a call and then quickly get off of it. Don't stay on it and text all night. Uh, make sure your, your costumes that your kids are using are distinguishable and safe. Uh, use glow sticks, bracelets, uh, lights, anything that can set your child apart from the other children that are dressed the same. Uh, we also encourage you to make sure that costume fits properly. Uh, you know, many parents don't even try on the costume until Halloween, uh, until the day before or the day of Halloween, and they realize the pants are too long. 
Well, that's going to be a tripping hazard. And then you got to, uh, you know, really scurry along and try to find, a, a, you know, some type of safety pin or something to, to pin those leg uh, pants up, so the pant legs up. So uh, try on your costumes now. Don't wait until Sunday evening to, to try them on. Uh, once, you are, once you have completed trick-or-treating, we definitely encourage all parents to inspect those treats that you're collecting and uh, discard anything that's not sealed, anything that's homemade, or anything like that and and doubly for the people handing out candy uh we appreciate uh especially our community we know people like to make uh, homemade treats halloween's not the time to do that because ultimately you're giving candy and, and and these treats out to complete strangers uh and and if they're being a responsible parent they should be throwing those away we encourage all parents to throw away anything that looks homemade anything that isn't store bought and sealed in the package so uh it, it's no offense to those uh passing them out uh it's just a safety precaution so uh, if you are making those homemade treats make sure you save those for people you know and and if you're a parent in the same way make sure if you are going to keep homemade treats that you're only keeping them uh that were given out from people that you know uh we remind kids never go into a residence never stay in front of a residence and look, for parents, have a plan in case you get separated from your child or, or from the group of kids that you're supervising. Uh, you know, if, if they have cell phones, whatever the case may be, make sure you have a meeting place maybe at a certain time if you get separated. Uh, but look, this year more than ever, we encourage parents to keep a strong, strong tabs on, on where those kids are at all times. Excellent information. Brennan, we thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you, as always, for what y'all do. Oh, thank you so much for having us, and we look forward to a, a safe and fun Halloween. Absolutely. All right, and that's Captain Brennan uh, Mathern. We appreciate that very much. That'll do it for this segment. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more Bayou time when we return.